Hello and good evening. My name is John. We're playing Lost King Lullaby as part of my Steam Cleaning series, where I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, then arbitrarily rate and or review them after a wee bit of playtime. Now, I don't quite know what this game is, is because I pick this game's out at random, so we're going to jump in to start story and find out together. I also don't know why it's silent. Oh, there it is. Far deep in the horizon, where the ocean meets the sky, the island of Bambo bends in with the presence of this child. Athyar found orphan Kira and never let her apart. The druid put her safety and his priority out in his heart. Eight, nine, and ten years after the Morrigan she came down, three crowns had been stone, one omen of war against the, the three crows against the crown. It was on the third year of the arrival of the crows that the freedom of Ban Bans was taken with their bows. Neb, the queen of the island, had just learned she was with child. With so much to rejoice, the curse was rapidly let wild. The king was lost to himself, what was laid in front of him. They were vacant as they were dead. His whole kingdom, it was grim. Every peasant guard and royal standing, royal, standing lifeless on their side, nor king nor the druid, they couldn't give them back their light. The child had just awoken, being lonely as she was meant. Reality was cruel on uh, Kira, who had to assent. The king and the druids were nowhere to be found, the three crows of the tower, and Kira crying on the ground. Outraged at the bird's apathy, the Morgan was to blame, a stone about to be thrown, but a voice, care with where you aim. A creature from the forest all sudden took her breath. She implored for mercy, and she was she heard, My omen is not death. The Morgan said to her, Princess, go with Suntra, pack your things, and let them help you need to find. With her surprise presence, the forest she left them, Kira knew her sorrow, but the light prevailed instead. And thus Benba had a chance, and Kira was the creature, went on their venture at last. Okay, I'm a little confused, but we're going to make it work. Hope the volume isn't too low. Play! Morgan's Illusion. Oh, oh, controller. Okay. The world is just an illusion for Morgan. We'll be safe here no matter what. Oop, oop, oh. Okay. Run, 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 run. Touch an enemy to start a battle. Do I have to battle? I guess I do. That's Kira. Enemy. Okay. Enemies attack. Avoid the attacks. Then your enemies freeze, attack, heal. Okay. So it's kind of like a mini bullet hell. I like how they put the dots on the character so you know you don't have to. All right, so not the most challenging of uh, battle experiences there. Oh no, poor guy. Lost King's little bit charges allow Sentras to petrify enemies all right so i turn that person to stone so i don't have to fight the forest hides many treasures okay i like the art style so far find la fail fla uh, it's probably not la fail stones it'll weaken the boss Praying with Morgan to test your skills. <laughs> so far this has been pretty easy. And then right when I get hit. Okay. 
It's all put to rest. I'm assuming this is still all tutorial. That's a doorway there. Okay. Van Ba. One. I don't know who this little lion guy is, but he's super cute. And so your journey begins. I'll be at your side all the time. No need to work. The Bee Witch. Get it? The Bee Witch? Okay. The Bee Witch is a real problem. All right, those are weird attack patterns. All right, so failure isn't that bad. Something you should know. Find them, we have to town. Okay, so I can do upgrades. Not the most upgradey, but two thousand. Two thousand, two thousand. Alright, well. Alright, well it's Alright. It's definitely I got some roguelike hooks. I should probably fight this bee witch. Did a little better that time. I don't know if it was based on skill or not. Oh, we got some feathers. Oh my goodness. My good friend here, what is wrong with you? Okay. Goodbye, Banshee. Another bee witch. Okay. I feel like I move really slowly. I'm gonna try the mouse, see if that gives me a little more control. I wonder if I move faster with the... Oh no, use the keyboard. Okay, that's not gonna be any better.
I guess I just want to heal. Whenever possible. And not be too aggressive when it comes to stuff. I would like it if I could move a little faster, to be honest. Alright, so that's a bee witch. I don't want to fight those right now. I'm, I'm not good at them yet. Alright, so this is a big map. Heal up. Part of me feels like it's very difficult to... to dodge a lot of these attacks. I'm also curious why their health is going down by by smaller parts. Maybe my healing is doing a little damage. That'd be weird. Maybe it's a life drain. Okay. Okay, so healing does do five damage. There's a little progress when you do that. Hmm, that's interesting. This is not a total waste to heal. Just really slow. Our um, progression is also pretty slow. Killing these dudes has only given us 50 feathers. We need 2,000 for an upgrade. There must be like chests or something I need to find more of. Yeah, here's one. That was worth 100. Not really feeling that as like, oh my god, I did it, but it's something. Just keep healing whenever we're not full. And we'll get there. All right, one more heal. Okay, so it's kind of tedious, but it does work. Another Banshee. I just love this Banshee's expression, it's so good. Two more hits. 
for six more heals. One more hit or two more heals. All right, that should be it. Nope, gotta do a heal. I want to be a little bit faster. I think I feel like a little slow. The limited monster palette's kind of a disappointment. I learned a few of the attack patterns. All right, we got a heal. All right, so we can reliably get our get through all these. It's just um, very slow. Um, I know they want you to spend points at the town to get your upgrades. But boy, is it slow. 50 or 100. It's a lot. Oh, I should heal. All right, one more Banshee down. So overall, like I said, um, I think the art style is good. The music's okay. Mechanically though, I feel like I'm doing the same stuff over and over again, which is kind of a bummer. Transition. We, can, we should at least clear one area. Now that, now that we've got combat locked down, yeah, there's a lot of space, there's just nothing. Like, why would I normally come here except to, to grind 50 experience points or whatever? Smoked him. Get my 60 feathers? It went down? Are they worth less now? Is that what? That'd be a real bummer. Just keep on healing. Couple attacks there. And we're good. All right. 
18, 1080. Okay, so 50. So we're definitely getting less per kill now, which is a real bummer. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's getting easier to do it. it just feels like the rewards are... Are you a thing? It just feels like the rewards are worth less and less. All right, let's kill the Bewitch. Run, 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 run. Chest. All right, a little banshee. Banshee. I just want to finish one zone. I think, I think at the end of the day, this game is one that I'm not going to recommend based on the fact that it's uh, incredibly repetitive. Um, it's just two monster types. I'm just, I'm hopeful that come the next area, is there anything down here can I can swipe? No. I'm just hopeful that the next area has new monster types. But it's incredibly grindy. I'm just sitting here burning some time as I wait for... Waiting for this to pay off. All right, we did it. Another, another soul put to rest. Oh, come on game. Give me something more than this. This is a dead end. There hasn't been any items yet. There hasn't been any uh, real progress. I mean, I could go back to town and do one upgrade. That feels incredibly ineffective. That's a dead end. I'm not gonna go there. So we go back? Apparently I forgot to pick up a feather. That was a, uh, a failing on my part. Whoop. All right, another bee mage, another banshee. I just want to get through one level.
Two more attacks. One more attack, but should be good. Yeah, there's no animation on the characters here, just the swords and the, the stuff. Like it, it, it feels a bit lifeless. All right, there is something here. There's a doorway. At least looks like progress. We have to kill one more bee mage. More banshee. That's on me. I got greedy. All right, we're good. Look here. All right, a B mage. Please, please, please tell me there's new enemies in the new area, next area. And don't get me wrong, like, we definitely learned these encounters over time. But it's not like they're individually any, any fun. Do, do, do. All right. Ban but two. All right, all right, this new enemy type here. That's something. All right, who are you? Bell, Bellinus? Oh wow, that hurts. All right, that's a little cruel. They do not give you a lot of time here. I don't feel like I can react most of the time. But if I play really slowly, I can eventually win by... by healing every chance I get. Okay. Soul put to rest. Oh, come on, more bee mages. All right. I am done with this. Go to town. And what can I spend this on? That's where the plot is stored. So our upgrades include heals the player, upgrades the healing, Upgrade to, to defend the player. This player six seconds for total 20 hit points. Three extra damage. 
If the player is hitted, the effect will end. The enemy is poisoned. Player speed. Oh, okay. Player teleports to two in the direction of the movement. I don't know what that means. So I can change my powers here. So I can upgrade just to slow down because both my projectiles. This switches my attack to poison attack. This is just thorns. So you do that once and the enemy is just taking damage. That's just the sword, but it costs 2,000 feathers upgraded by, by what, 15%? Almost nothing. And the heal here cost 2,000 to raise it by uh, 6. So, I mean, um, this has been Lost King's Lullaby, a very interesting looking game. I love the visual style of it. Soundtrack's all right. Um... It's just not fun. Like you had to kill dozens of the same creature to gain um, 30 to 100 feathers a pop and you need uh, 2000 to get the first level upgrade. It's incredibly slow for a roguelike for making progression. I played for a half hour and I was just barely out of range of buying an upgrade. That's that's not fun, that's not progress. And the... Um, the, the battles themselves were just not quite there. I think. So Lost King's Lullaby. No. Cheers.